Hey you all, Carpetbagger here. I am joined by John from Exploration Unknown. What's up? And uh, we are coming to you live from the south. More specifically, Hot Springs, Arkansas. And even more specifically than that, we are in front of what is one of the oldest tourist attractions in the country, the Arkansas Alligator Farm. This is full of alligators and other wonderful things. And it holds another important distinction. A baseball player by the name of by the name of Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth hit one of his first home runs at a, a spring training here, and it flew out of the stadium and landed in the alligator farm. Landed in the, probably in an alligator's mouth. I just made that last part up. I'm sorry. And uh, anyways, that was good anyways, anyways, so that was the the that was the 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 first major home run that he hit. The the distance that that got him looked at like they there's something special about this guy and it began the career of Babe Ruth. So this alligator right here is responsible for Babe Ruth's baseball career. This is gonna be good. Follow us. us. Okay please don't get mad at me. I don't know that much about baseball but it's saying uh, in uh, 1918 St. Patrick's Day uh, that uh, Babe Ruth launched a baseball 573 feet landed in the alligator farm I guess it was the first 500 foot plus drive in baseball. Is 500 feet, is that, is that a long way in baseball? Yeah, that's a pretty good distance. Still, even with steroids now? Yeah, still, I mean, you know, you have Big Mac land from the 90s, but it, yeah, it's still a pretty good distance. Petunia, she died in 1981 at 60 years old. There's two alligators fighting. This advice is not exclusively to this part. This should just be a, a blanket rule that you should have every minute of your life. You all will see all these amazing animals. I've never seen y'all spelled that way. You all? Is Me that, neither. Uh, uh, that's unique. Yeah. We just usually leave the U and just put y'all. Hey goats! Do you guys like food? Oh my gosh. Those are, those are what, what a beautiful animal noise as you guys made. Hey, right, you, you be good. You get your food. So here. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, look at that big little tiny goat right there. A hey, little goat. Hey. Here, I'll tell you. John, feed this, feed this cute goat right here. Oh, Brutus here is getting away. There we go. Oh, you're greedy and mean, and you look like the devil. You do look like the devil. What'd you say? I didn't understand that. Oh! So Jacob is going to just get mauled by goats on purpose. <laughs> goats! I am the king of the goats! Bow before me! Jacob is the goat master. Butting each other. <laughs> They're fighting over who is your top goat. <laughs> I ain't got nothing left. <laughs> this guy bit my bit my ankle. <laughs> Gator goat. Hey buddy. I love me some goat. <laughs> hey goat. You're mean. I'm not coming there with you. You gonna bite your fingers off? Yeah, I know. Nom, 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 <laughs> Oh my gosh, these goats right here are so cute. <laughs> what the heck? Look at the little horns. Look at oh my, oh my god. Oh my gosh. And this guy is such a jerk. He doesn't want these little babies to eat. Get so upset. Would be really cute if these goats are wearing pajamas. Oh my god. Oh, look at this. They're having the most adorable fight in the world. <laughs> Looks like someone had their glasses goatified. <laughs> it's an alligator with a smaller gator in his mouth. 
I really wish there was a third smaller alligator within that mouth. Whatever you do, no matter what happens, no bread beyond this point. They really mean it about the bread. Look at all these sleepy little gators just kind of dog piling on each other. Are they eating hot dogs? Yeah, hot dogs. Come on in the box here, sir. All right. Get in the box. Get all the steak. And I want you to touch your nose. Whichever one you want to be, touch his nose. Yeah, so just touch his nose. How about this one? Ah! You hungry? You hungry? If he opens his mouth and can't get it inside his mouth, just touch his tongue. There you go. Get it. There's the second phase and the last phase for you, and then it'll be his turn. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh -oh. He's gonna pull you in, John. Oh, there you go. Now, since there ain't no little kids in here, you wanna hold one? Yes, I wanna hold this one. I want my buddy over here, and he's like, Yes, I wanna hold him. Alright, I'm totally with you. What? We got a rubber, rubber band is not shut. Yeah, it's a law. You gotta have this on your gator before you. Maybe it's not a bad law, actually. True. Well, hey, you want to buy it anyway? Right. Hey, you want to come the bar? Yeah. There you go. You got it. Look at this. I'm holding a giant gator. You are so He's holding. Like seven years old. Seven years old. He's friendly? Yeah. Does he have a name? I just call him Buddy. Buddy? Hey, buddy. I got that gator there specifically trained. And you can go to any spot in this pond that I tell him to sit pretty for me. Really? Open his mouth. I'll chuck him a hot dog. Just like a dog. Pretty much. He'll even wag his tail like a dog and scratch his back. Oh my god. That's awesome. That is so cool, man. He's fat. Yeah, he's just, he's chill. He's relaxed. The third year I worked here. Yeah. The second year I worked here. I started training him a little bit. Now he'll, he'll do it on the spot. He's that. That's awesome. Like, I'm gonna do that. 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 i am going to do that now, like I said, he's the only one that I got pretty much trained. He's kind of a little bit on the off side. Yeah. In summertime, he's quick on it. He'll follow my directions anywhere. Now, if you want, I'll jump in here and I'll show you our biggest gator. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Our biggest gator, his name is Buster, by the way. Mm -hmm. He's 78 years old, weighs over 855 pounds. 78. So she's about to show us the biggest gator. Tell me the numbers again. 78 years old, weighs over 855 pounds, about 12 foot long. Wow. God. That's this guy right here. His nose is right there. His tail is right here. This is Buster. He is our biggest gator. See if we can get him in his little Oh my gosh. Come on, buddy. Is that an aggressive thing or just? Nah, I just like leave me alone, please. You just like grumbling? Pretty much. Now if I wanted to stop, I'd mess with his nose a little bit. Stop. <laughs> Have you ever come close to getting bit? I've actually been bit once by one of the smaller gators. It was Chunky Monkey, to be exact. Um, the only reason I got bit though, there was a couple of gators that actually they were eight years old around that time. They're nine years old now, and uh, they were they were fighting almost all the time. Mm. Well, Chunky Monkey, he was well kind of new to the pond, so he went underneath the two, and I grabbed his tail. When I grabbed his tail, he thought one of them big gators got him, so mm. he got scared, turned around, and he bit me right here. Mm. 
Trying to calm down all the grumpy gators. <laughs> oh no, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, it's like a puppy. So he is almost 200 years old. That is insane. And I ain't gonna be barely touching his shell at all. I'm talking to him about Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh! <laughs> now, we can't knock the mess with him too much. He broke, an he broke a fiberglass axe handle in half. Look at this one. His name Jaws. Floating over the live gators. Taxidermied one. But to show how vicious he was, they put a human hand in his mouth. <laughs> Look at this taxidermied iguana right here. I don't know why it's got like wires sticking out of its face. Look at that tiny little gator right there. A little shadow box full of iguanas there. Well, they created seven of these, well, abominations <laughs> for people, female, male sculptures. And, uh,. They switched from business to business, just saving, and ended up saving thousands on top of thousands of uh, small businesses from board closure. This just happened to be his last stop. So he wants a treat. Sometimes oh. he'll touch your hand and stuff. Just wanting a treat. My boss is inside the store, and his youngest brother. Other co-workers, other brothers, his wife even, can't go in there. They'll try to attack him through the fence. Really? Yeah. I'm kind of certain this is how I got my job. I kept asking, can I work at the walls? <laughs> I wasn't trying to be naggy or nothing. I was just really wanting to work at the walls. So the third time I asked him, he goes, look, I'm going to uh, give them a, uh, their medicine later. So he let me go in this first little pen. Then after that, um, they were jumping up, looking on my hands and stuff. He's like, all right, well, later I'm going to go feed them. I'll let you go all the way in the pen with them. As soon as I went all the way in the pen, You'll see here in just a second. They get playful. They want to play the whole dang time. <laughs> That's all they want to do. And they are just sweet. Aww. Thank you, buddy. <coughs> so this is a arctic wolf and a timber wolf? Yes, this is not all the painted. Quick. It doesn't start playing already. Oh, you want to leave me a fun? <laughs> <laughs> just like a couple of puppies. Oh my god, I want one so bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they really like you, don't they? Yeah, they're good. 200 pounds, Teal the mountain lion. Oh, look at that kitty. Wow. Oh my gosh. And he just grooming on me. You can hear her purr. That cat's also got an outside play area for when they have to go to work and stuff like that. Right here in this pond, this is where the ball from Babe Ruth landed. I was just telling me it was right over there, right by that little statue's shoulder was where the ball landed. They said they didn't find the ball because I guess the pit was full of gators. So one of the gators probably ate the ball. And given how old the gators are, that ball may be sitting in one of those gators' stomachs right now. This gravestone here says, here lies a thoroughbred fox terrier 
killed by an alligator on this spot, September 25th, 1906. Yeah, someone was working here, and they brought their dog with them. Mm -hmm. Well, their dog got away from them, and uh, they were trying to get it. Somebody else had seen the dog running by them, or by their feet or something, picked it up, and threw it in the gator pond. Oh, Johnny no. It's funny to throw it in the gator pond and gator ate it. No. Yep. Wow. And that's where he's buried? Yeah, well. I think that's where he. That says raccoons will bite. I think that you're too cute to bite people. You're, you would never bite a people, would you? You're too sweet and cute. And oh, yeah, that baseball that Babe Ruth hit into the alligator park was from right here. This was home plate, Woodington Park, 1918. And there, off in the distance, is the alligator park. And that's the front fence. The, uh, the ball actually landed closer to the back end of, of the property. That's nuts. And there's actually some of the bleachers left from uh, the people that were sitting there watching Babe Ruth knock a ball into an alligator. It was wonderful to see these old roadside attractions still in operation. And a huge thank goes out, thanks goes out to Kat, who was a, a very gracious host and showed us all her wonderful animals. And apparently, a woman who has no fear of animals and has nothing but love for animals is absolutely amazing. Yeah. I appreciate you guys watching. Please check the interactive map in the description. It'll show you all the places I've been. And you can tell me where I need to go next. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, consider buying a t-shirt. Consider donating to Patreon. But for now, this one's in the bag. <laughs>